Hey everyone, it's Bobby. I am here with my new Design Team package. Just came a few minutes ago. Um, on the top I have some Artisan Red and Craft. I was completely out of the red and low on the craft and I love this craft. It is just the best shade of any that I have had in the past. And I have tried tons over the years, many years. Okay, so for the beautiful paper collections. First off, I have two of the archival stamp pads. I got cobalt blue and fern green. The reason I wanted these is because I've been watching a lot of the um, Heartfelt Creation flower making tutorials put out by Heartfelt Creations. And they just made the most beautiful flowers and leaves. And I just love those two colors. So I ordered them. And hopefully for Mother's Day, I'll get some heartfelt creations. That's what I want. But we'll see. Okay, then I ordered some Minte stuff. And this is a base, album base. And I just thought it was so pretty. Look at this. They're chipboard. And the cover is laser cut. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you have one, two, three, four four, five, six different page sheets. And I just think these are gorgeous and I am so excited to work with this. This will be my first project out of this package. And I, I talked to Tammy the other day and she is low on the mente, so uh, this particular collection. So if that is something that you want, I would urge you to get it quickly. It's been a couple days since I spoke to her and she was low at that point, so she may be out, but if you want it, it's something you need to check on. Look at these beautiful papers. I ordered the 6x6 and the 12x12. And I'll show you the 12x12. We'll go through that because you'll get a better view of it. Look at all of these. The film strip. The lens. There's several film strips and cameras in here. And I just... The old Polaroids. Oh my goodness. And the ones with the uh, flash cubes on the top. I'm sure some of you remember those. And then I did order the, um, <clears throat> these are Rub-Ons by Tim Holtz. I just love all the numbers and things. And I like to put words and numbers on my projects. I just think it adds so much. So for this Mamarazzi, I guess is how you say it, there is, this is called the, what is it called? I think you have to cut them out yourself. You do. But that's okay. I don't mind fussy cutting. Or I can put it on my scan and cut and cut them out. But look at all the beautiful colors. And one thing is I was at a garage sale the other day. And I got this package of flowers. And I don't know if they're going to be usable or not. But I thought they'd be so pretty with this collection. And they were pink, dark pink on the center and light on the outside and I thought that might be so pretty to layer these up and this was like next to nothing I just picked it up at a garage sale but it came on a big um, plastic bundle and I cut all the petals off and I thought maybe I could put them back together so we'll see about that and then I got a sheet of the cardboard stickers and these do pop out but see the old Polaroid here isn't that cool do they have one in here? Yeah, here's one with a flash bar on it. But I remember when they had the cubes and it would spin after you used it. <laughs> I'm telling how old I am. Okay, here's the Mente papers. They are just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And I have another Mente set that is a Christmas set that I received as a gift a while back. And I haven't used it yet, so... I like to start early on my Christmas stuff, so even when it's warm this summer, you'll see me making Christmas stuff so I can get ahead of the game. So here's the cover sheet. Isn't that pretty? And they always include things that you can cut out on the back of that cover sheet. So pretty, pretty, pretty. I just love their stuff. I'm so glad she started carrying this. And look at this. Isn't that a beautiful collage? But you can cut these out and make different. Look how you could fussy cut this. 
this disc with everything on it. You got the film strip on the back. Here's another one with all your lights and cameras and stuff. I guess it goes this way. So pretty. I love that shade of yellow. And I'm not usually a fan of yellow and green, but her papers this year have just had beautiful shades in them. This is really pretty. In the film strip in pink. Ooh, look at that big lens. Mm, that is so pretty with all the flowers. Mm, really pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, I love this one, this floral. It's got all the perfect colors in it. And little cameras, like silhouettes of cameras. And this one you could cut and actually make journal cards. Put a photo on the back of them. Yeah, see, you could put photos on there. That looks like a Polaroid. And pretty. And here's another one. These are just beautiful layouts. I think we're repeating now. Let me see. Yes, we're repeating. So let me get that out of the way. Then she sent me Gentleman Floor. I guess that's how you say it in the 8x8. Oh, look how pretty those colors are. I wasn't going to open this one, but I have to look at it. I haven't seen this one yet. And I didn't ask for this. She just sent it to me because that's the kind of gal she is. She just shares everything. Oh, look at that. And wouldn't that be pretty for Father's Day? Look at the blue in it. Ta-da-da! Perfect. of everything. Oh, looky there. The blimp. I love these flowers. These colors are just gorgeous. And then on the back side, it's more of a muted print with the printing behind in the background. So pretty. And there's one with a stopwatch on it. My grandpa had one of those. You don't see stuff like that anymore. There's three of those. so pretty and muted on the background on the back side I mean and it's got like a newspaper print and that says vintage that reminds me of an old graphic 45 paper I had years ago this is so pretty oh Tamara you've outdone yourself honey you just keep getting better all the time isn't that pretty I just love these colors don't they just jump out at you and scream autumn or masculine and look at that <laughs> dictionary arts and scientists sciences so pretty oh my I've got lots of pretties now and then she sent me the 8x8 in the Winter Wonderland, which I told her, oops, I hadn't had that yet. And I really love that. So she sent me the 8x8, and we'll go through with the 12x12. I have it as well. Then we have a Mother's Love, and I'm not going to go through this one. This is my for my design team this time. But I know you've seen it, because I've seen several of the girls post videos of it. It is just, I love this. I love it. And I can just think of so many things to put in this. Because it's all about mom and sewing and knitting and maybe cooking and baking. All the things a mother does. And here's Winter Wonders. I told her I love this one and I haven't had it yet. These last two I haven't had. <clears throat> and they're both Christmas oriented. Or winter oriented I should say that down. Now you may have seen this one. I have not. Isn't that pretty? Look at that pretty plaid. And that's pretty on the back. Ooh. So you have two of this one. It should be two of this one. Yeah, two of that one. 
put the cut aparts and the banners. Sprinkling a thick white blanket over the landscape. Winter wanders breathlessly. It's pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? There should be three now. Yeah, three of this one. That is so pretty. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Blues and reds. I love blues and reds. And someone sent me not long ago. Oh, I might have got. Oh, there's just two of this one. It may be farther in the back. Someone sent me some, um, oh, what are they called? Um, they're machine crocheted pieces, like appliques. They're so pretty. And I may be able to use some of those in this and also in the mother's one. And then there's two of that. Oh, that's pretty, really pale. of that one. Snowflakes. So pretty. And one of this. I must have them out of order is all I can say. Mm. Unless I can get them stuck together. Isn't that pretty with the deer in it? And got the little, it's almost like sprinkles of glitter on there. This looks like cookie cutters. <laughs> oh, I love the wood grain. Can never go wrong with the wood grain. There's three of this one. That is pretty. I really like that. That'd be pretty on a hot cocoa page. Yep, and look at the books. I love anything with books. I'm a big fan of reading. I read every day. There's another one, two more of those. You only had one a while ago. They're just not together, but that's okay. So that is Winter Wonders. And then we have Noel Nostalgic, I guess is how you say it. And I love these colors. Let's go through this real quick. And then I got to get things put away and get started on the Mente project because I think that's going to be so much fun to work with that chipboard album. Get this out of the way. Mmm, so pretty. There's the cut aparts. Look at the pretty animals, aren't those nice? So there'll be two of those. That's the back side of that. And it's really pretty. The colors are just gorgeous. And here's your cut apart. Made into tags. So pretty. And the orange slices. Look at the big white rose in the middle. Mm, I love this. This is so pretty. This is so gorgeous. And on the back side of that, the big floral with the paint spots, splatters. Excuse my fingernails. I've been inking on another project and I've got stained fingernails. There's your 4x4. Four or is it 4x4? Four four? It'll be 6x6 six six because there's four of them. That's really pretty. Oh, I love the deer and he's got his sweater on. That's really pretty. And here's another one. Somehow they got out of order, I don't know. Probably me. I do crazy stuff. Isn't that pretty? What does it say? View of the city of New York Cathedral at Strasbourg. It says index to engraving. 
I don't know. It's still pretty. And there's that one. Isn't that beautiful how it's laid out? So now I got lots to do. Look at the bear with his sweater on. Good tidings of comfort and joy. Mm. Beautiful. And here's another six by six. And the owl's got his he doesn't have a sweater, he's got a scarf. That's cute. Really nifty. And then we've got the owl in the six by six. I like that she combined that because you can do a six by six album out of your 12 by 12 paper collection. And there's that one. That's just beautiful. And here's some more six by sixes. And I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Very pretty. And she's got that in a six by six. And on the back side we have this floral. So pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. You've done good, Tamara. You've done good. Oh, and also I wanted to mention, if you guys haven't seen this on her website, check it out. This little caddy is awesome. These little spots in here, no matter what the size of your item is, it you can put it in there and it'll grip it and hold it in place. I was always hunting for my craft knife or my scoring blade or whatever. I'd get papers out here and stuff would get covered up and since I've had this I don't lose anything. I'm not scrambling around hunting for things that I that got buried under all the papers. So if you haven't seen that it's called the stash and store and she does have it in her store. It comes in red and blue and I think think maybe green and there might be other colors I'm not sure but it is, it is reasonably priced and it is so handy so I will see you shortly with more design projects so make sure you've subscribed and ring that bell so you won't miss anything have a good day I'll talk to you soon